uh, our party leader, the other principals, ladies and gentlemen. I will be very brief. First of all, I want to thank you for sparing time to come here today. I knew we had very short time since we were approaching Easter, but we thought it will be important to talk to you as fast as possible before Easter. And we thought the easiest people to call were the group that is here. Let others who have been with us all along think that we have forgotten them. We are organizing, as you know, the family of a Simeon had over 28 parties. Some of them never managed to have members of parliament. But one way or another, they, they have representation at the county level. We are going to invite all of them because they have been part of this process so that we are able to brief them what we have done. I want also to take this opportunity to thank the leaders that are here. The leaders who are here, they have really spent their time. The last two months, sleeping late, planning how to go with the Mandamano. They have gone through tear cars. The worst of it was last Thursday. Was it Thursday or Monday? Thursday. That was the worst that I thought that day we were going to lose our party leader here. Because I saw live bullets being aimed at him. If he was not in an armored car, he would have been no more. And that day we were using uh, Eugene Wamalua's vehicle. Wamalu had left and joined Kalonzo in the other car, and I suspected Kalonzo had an armored car. So he was running away from us. <laughs> and through to it, our vehicle was smashed. We were with the Olekina here. It was smashed by a fellow who removed a knife. He wanted to, uh, to stab Olekina. But what saved us is that our driver was a policeman and he had a gun. So it's when he removed the gun, pointed the man, and the man ran away. Because also Olekina will be no more. Because he was just very close to him. We have gone through those process. These people you see here have sacrificed. Some of you know. So you need to clap for them. This is a journey that we have to do together. But lastly, our party leader has gone through the key issues. Others might arise as we move on with the negotiation. But so long as the server is not open, we will not have sorted the problem of election injustices in this country. <coughs> because we have had disputes before. 2007, 2008, you remember how many people we lost. We lost over 1,000 people in this country. 2013, it was the same. 2017 is the same. 2022, same. So we don't need this again in 2000 and, and, and 27, 2027. And you have been given an opportunity to sort out this. And in every any disease, if a doctor has to treat it, he must know what disease you are suffering from. He must carry out tests to know before he subscribes what you are, the medicine you have to use. So that's why you are saying that if we have to come up with proper laws that will help us have free and fair election in future, the server must be open. And secondly, 
the issue of cost of living. And this, these two are the most critical. Others can be added here and there. But these two are critical. Because sorting out the issue of cost of living is the easiest. You just reintroduce subsidies and people will be stable for the few months until we have, we are, we have uh, harvesting, which will come in the next three or four months. We'll have enough. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you as the chairman of the executive council of ASMIO that this is a journey that we must be together and I thank very much having been a former governor, the governors who have work, worked with us up to this moment, they have supported us and you people must keep supporting us so that we are able to achieve our objective. Kuhayo machache wanakioni, karibu na weu seme yako ya upo, na kule kule sendro, unawangea karibu.